Hi, my name is Sean Smith from South Coast Yachts, the Beneteau dealer here in San Diego. Today we're going to take a look at a new listing. It's a 2019 Beneteau Oceanus 41.1. Join me as we take a quick walkthrough and tour of the boat. This Oceanus 41.1 has the gray gel coat hull. Really beautiful color with the striping and that darker color on the gray hull. Looks amazing. And then this boat was ordered with teak decks. It has a Dodger, Bimini, and connector, all Sunbrella smoke canvas from Memo's Custom Canvas in San Diego. This is really nice. You can see the leather stitching, Tanara thread, and uh, stainless steel hand rail on the Dodger. The cool thing about this Dodger is the canvas piece here where you see these snaps can be removed so you can get a little bit of extra wind through the boat if you want to do that or if you want to keep it all connected and stay out of the sun, you have really nice shade over this whole cockpit. The bimini goes to the stern pulpit, which is really nice, really easy to move around the boat. See a life sling on the transom on the stern pulpit. Oceanus 41.1. We'll pan across the cockpit here. You see the twin helm design, big cockpit table. Want to walk around the boat quickly before we board. You can see recessed inside the boat are LED lights. So that's gonna look great inside the boat. I think it looks pretty cool from outside as well. Up at the bow, we have a dual stainless steel anchor roller. Right now there is a really nice Lumar stainless steel anchor on board, 35 pounds, with a really nice swivel as well. It's like a Mantis swivel. Electric windlass here, so there's a control at the bow to lower the anchor, but also you'll see at the primary helm on the port side, there's a chain counter we'll see shortly. You've got a furling Genoa in mass furling main. It's a really nice setup. And up there on the mass is a radar with a stainless steel mount and a TV antenna just above the radar. This is a great option from Harkin, the adjustable leads. So you can adjust from the cockpit the location of your general lead. Both sides of the boat have these opening gates. So you can see it's stored away now, but we can board the boat from either port or starboard side. And here's our jib furling line coming back to a block, which is nice. You can use this winch if you need, or you can pull the uh, head sail in from the helm station. So boarding the boat here, there's really nice pass on both sides. The 41 is designed to enter uh, from either helm. You can easily step up and walk forward onto the bow. So when you have your nice cockpit cushions out, you don't have to stand on them. You can walk up on either side. We'll pan across the cockpit here. Beautiful uh, folding uh, table right in the middle of the cockpit. The port side is where our primary helm is located with throttle control, autopilot, that chain counter for the windlass, bow thruster control, and then a chart plotter. There are three multifunction displays, large 12 in the center, which is gimbaled. And then also you have another multifunction on both sides of the boat at each helm. And then along the transom, we've got an electric transom door that opens up with a switch that's right here on the starboard helm. You can see we've labeled this platform. These are the courtesy lights, that little light there. And then also in the arch, see there are blue lights. Which I can turn on and off. And you can change them to a couple of different colors just by cycling the switch. Right in the middle of the cockpit table, we have storage. And then there's a lamp that goes forward on the cockpit table. Underneath here is your propane and then also fuel fill. Dodger is made with Macrylon, so very transparent. On the starboard side here, on the cabin top, we do have an electric wrench. So great for your halyards as well as uh, trimming your mainsail. This boat is a three cabin, one head with the light oak interior. Beautiful, the most popular 
uh, wood combination right now. So the light oak with the dark padding, very beautiful. Large windows here. The boat has an inverter. And this is our AC-DC panel. The port side settee is really nice. There's this angle desk here, which can be used as a nav station. It's a VHF radio, USB plug, and then your fusion stereo. So you can Bluetooth for, for music. And then you can see there's a speaker just below, as well as a handheld VHF and a breaker for all of your outlets inside the boat. Just after the settee is our galley where you have a top loading and front loading refrigerator. It's pretty nice. You can get into it from either location, sliding drawer, and a little freezer on the top. There is a gimbal two burner stove and oven just forward of this large stainless sink, which has a trash bin underneath. Some nice storage down here, as well as up above. Just aft is a microwave. The 41 has very large windows. This is uh, great, lots of natural light coming in the boat. You do have LED lights throughout, but also if you want to block out the sun, you have these nice shades to close the windows. You can see a couple more windows even aft. You can see into the helm station. This is the port side aft cabin, which has our battery breakers, main breakers, as well as electric winches and um, electric uh, windlass. Couple storage cubbies, large window, and a hanging locker here, which is very similar on the starboard side, where you've got a nice large berth, some nice storage hanging locker and this cabin has access into the head so there are two doors going into that head there's an electric Jabsco toilet and then a large separate shower here very nice and a storage compartment just outside Going forward, we'll take a look at the forward cabin, which would be your master cabin. It's got the largest berth, nice headroom, a couple of reading lights up above, and then there are two hanging lockers in here, as well as two French doors. So you have nice space inside, of, inside here, but you can also really open up the boat when you have both doors open. Great storage on both sides, the doors magnetically click into place. And underneath the bed is also a nice storage. There's a nice leather handle and a lock. So another good storage compartment underneath the bed. I really like this floor color. Matches really well with the trim and the light oak wood. Last thing we'll take a look at is the engine compartment, which is under this really nice and uh, open companionway staircase, which has a couple of struts to help lift it up. And then you have really easy access into your engine compartment, which is where your sea strainer is really accessible for the raw water going through your cooling system. And then also your fresh water system in the boat has selector switches here so you can go between your water tank one and two really easy to get to and look at this the impeller water pump uh, right on the front of the engine really easy to get to quick access there are also a couple of doors on the sides if you need uh, more access into the engine room you can see a couple of panels to remove and you can get completely around the engine really nice setup Thank you for joining me on this quick tour of the new listing, the 2019 Beneteau Oceanus 41 that we have currently available. Feel free to contact me right away to find out if the boat is still available and to get on board yourself. I look forward to talking to you really soon.